Welcome to Unmasking Humanity 21 Questions with Joshua T. Berglund. I'm your host, Joshua. Thank you all so much for being here today. We're broadcasting on the World's Mayor Experience platform that you can find at www.joshuatberglund.com. And on this platform, you'll find everything from immersive books to movies to multiple different styles of broadcast. You'll find education on media literacy, independent media, the fourth industrial revolution, and so much more. It's an interactive, engaging platform, and you can have a lot of fun there. So go check it out. But today, this is Unmasking Humanity, and I'm grateful that you're here. And today, we're going to get to learn from someone that's really, really special as a true visionary and pioneer in the world of renewable energy, EVs, and beyond. And I'm just really excited to talk to him. And look, regardless of what your opinions are on electric vehicles, renewable energy, whether you look at it as some part, it's, it, as it's part of some agenda that's meant to enslave people, or you're looking at it as what I believe it is, as an opportunity to help the underserved and in, in, in the global South populations, the underdeveloped or soon to be developed countries. I believe that this is a really unique opportunity that we're we're in right now with not just with technology, but with the advancements of the, the re advancements in renewable energy have progressed so much over the years. There's so much reason to have optimism and not look at this as well here in America with some of the issues that we're seeing with our own media and the way things are being forced on us. And of course, I can't speak for other countries, but there's a bad taste in people's mouth, especially in these oil and gas loving cities that some of us live in, like myself. Like I think about renewable energies and all the job that could be, the, the oil and gas jobs that could be displaced. The thing is, that's all fear. That's all fear. And we're being led to one extreme or the other. And one of the things that I love about our guest today is that I believe he's going to be able to deliver some common sense attitudes or common sense thought to this whole process. So these questions are not just designed to get to know him, but it's also designed for us to get to know what we need to know about renewable energy, electric vehicles, and so on. This is gonna be, the future is going to change a lot, but I believe it's gonna change a lot for the better, regardless of the growing pains. We're at a unique time in history uh, and that is really, really special. And I believe that there are people that have been held back and suppressed by, you know, whether it's not having access to the technologies or even having access to clean water and electricity, like those days are changing. And it's people like our guest, Mr. Rue Phillips, that are a part of that change. So it's an absolute honor for me to introduce to you all Mr. Rue Phillips. How are Thank you? Sir? I'm doing good. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for having me on your show. It's a it's an honor to have you here. And I'm gonna put, you know, your history and everything in the show notes. Uh I didn't get into reading that just because I'm sitting here looking at you. It'd be hard to do that. Um, but you're so accomplished. And like I'm just I'm really excited to get into this because I I'm I'm eager to learn from you because there's a lot that I don't know. And, and to be honest with you, I've been one of those people that looked at these changes in the green energy gone, what are they up to? <laughs> what are they up to? There's some, there's some type of agenda attached to this, but then over the last year, I've started to see, my eyes have been open to the truth that, no, this is actually, this can be a good thing for all. So I'm absolutely honored to have you here. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, you can hear a passion in my voice because I've been doing it now for, oh my goodness, about 30, over 30 years in the electric vehicle space and the, the renewable space. So you're a true expert. Like this is not, you didn't just get into it because it was a money-making opportunity. You got into it as a true visionary and a forerunner.